Hello and welcome to another RPA tutorial video. In this video, we are going to learn about work queues in Power Automate Desktop. So this tutorial video will help you on understand how to create work queue and how to add item into work queue. Before start, please support us by subscribing this channel. And if you feel this video is informative, then please click on the like button. All right. So let's understand what is work queue and why it is important. Okay, so work queues are basically used to manage and process a large volume of data. Okay, so basically in work queue, we can upload a data and which we want to process through the RPA. So for example, you have a, a data processing a bot, okay, which need to process, let's say thousand records every day. And now in future due to high volume let's say your uh, the volume of data got increased to 2000 okay so in order to process that data in in the same day you have to either uh, use multiple bot or a machine to complete those things right so this queue is basically helpful where you have a high high volume and you want to distribute your work between the bot or a run machine to complete your task on the uh, given timeline. Okay, so work queues are basically a collection of item that need to be processed by the RPA task. So it is depending on the volume and the timeline. So based on that, you can go ahead and process the data. So these queues are helpful when we upload any uh, data into the work queues and when you um, use that queue data into the bot so bot will fetch the information from there so let's say if you are using a multiple bot to process the data from same queue so the bot will fetch the data and it will like you know i mean let's say you have a scheduler three bot to process a data from a particular queue so the bot will automatically understand and it will fetch the queue items and it will process it so in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can create the work queues and how we are going to add the work item into the work queue from Excel data. So you can add data into queue from any source. So if you have something in your email or any other source also, so you can go ahead and add it. And after that, you can use same queue to process the data. So let me take you to uh, the Microsoft flow. There we can see how we can create the work queue okay so i'm here in microsoft uh, power automate flow and once you log in so you can see uh, the options called more once you click here in the more you can see the option as work queues okay so you have to click here in the work queue and it will open a page like this so here we can see so the option to click uh, create new work queue. So once you click here, it will ask you to put the work queue name, description, or any work queue key. If you want to keep anything like that, you can keep it. But if you put the work queue name, that will be enough. So that is the only mandatory uh, field which we need to fill it. Okay, so I have already created uh, a queue called Salesforce Dispatcher. So what we are going to do, we are going to use the data from Excel okay where we have some informations available like uh, the first name last name which we are going to write into the Salesforce but for this tutorial we are just going to see how we can up update data into the work items so here so this queue is created if you click here so you can see all the informations like the queue name okay and the status of uh, your queue the created time who created okay and along with that i mean currently we don't have any item available in the queue so it's it's looking uh, blank only but if you see here in the, the right hand side the word queue items so there are options available like you know the queue process these are the stages of the particular process which we are going to process through the queue so once you upload any data into the queue it will by default comes under this queued okay so based on this you can design your bot and it can fetch the item which is available under this queued status only and after that it will move to the processing once the process is completed then it will move to the processed in between if any error or something got then it will 
like you know refer to the uh, the particular section which is available it's up to you how you are designing your bot and you have to pass the information here so you can see whether the record has been processed successfully or it it encounter any system error or a business exceptions all right so now let's see in power automate desktop how we are going to create the up upload the data into the queue so we can see the queue name is salesforce dispatcher queue now let me go to the power automate desktop let's search for an option called queue okay so here we can see so there are five sub commands available like process work queue update work queue add work queue request item and the update work queue so for our case what we are going to do we are going to use this add work queue action to add the data into the work queue so if you see here so we have like work queue name that we have to select it so from here you can see the salesforce dispatcher queue is available and the status what status you want to keep so you can see here two options available so i'll go with this queued and the priority for the item which we are updating into the queue is high normal or low so let's go with the normal and what name you want to put for a particular record so let's say i'm just putting something like q test and here you have to pass the data which you want to add into the work queue item so basically here you have to pass the information in the form of json so let me show you so there is a small example okay so if you see here this is the json uh, data so here i want to pass uh, add into the work queue as name and the employee id so we have to follow uh, the structure the way it is present here and once this is uh, input is ready and now next what you have to do you have to just click on the save button no need to pass anything uh, here if you want you can pass it and this output will save into this new work queue item if you click on the save button and once you run this it will add that to the name and the employee id into the work queue so let's run this and see okay it runs successfully now let me go and see so let me do a refresh so we can see this queue test and along with that this name and employee id got updated okay so by this way we can add item into the queue as we are going to read the data from the excel so what we have to do first we have to read the data from the excel file and then after that only we have to pass the information into the queue in the form of json so let's try to do that so let's look for excel related action so the launch action so let me get the path of the excel i don't want to open the excel okay so now let's click on the save button and after that we need to read all the value so i'll go ahead and select this all available values and it will store that data into this excel data table and i'm having the first column in the first row so i'll select this option click on the save button now i will also add this close action and otherwise it will uh, running in the background okay so now we can open the excel we can get the data into the excel uh, data and after that we have to use the loop to read each uh, a row available in the excel so let's look for a loop and we'll use for each and we'll select this excel data where we can get all the information and this excel data will store the output into this current item all right so now we are going to pass the information into this queue item so let's see how it can be done so here instead of name and employee id i'm going to replace with this first name exact the value which is present here and here instead of this hard coded name i want to get the information from this current item because current item is holding all the information which is present in the excel so here i will just go ahead and use 
the index so i'll go with the zero one two like that if you want you can go with the column name as well okay the next pass all the column information here okay so let me do this quickly Okay, so we have added uh, all the column information here. And now let's run, now let's save this and run the bot to see whether this is working or not. So let me close this Excel and test it. So, uh, I mean, currently I have added all the, uh, like, you know, the header column name manually, but it can be done uh, with the help of loop as well. So we can put another loop here because this excel data is holding like you know the column name as well so we can instead of writing these things manually for each line we can use the loop to perform the same thing but uh, it can be done either way it's up to you how you want to do so let's quickly run and test it all right so task uh, run successfully and if you want to see the excel data so we can see these are the informations which bot updated into the queue. So we can now see all the information. So if you want to see in details, so just you have to come here and select the particular record. And if you click here in the C input details, so we can see the first name, last name, whatever information we have um, selected as an input parameter. So we have all the informations available. So with the help of this uh, uh, task, we can add item into the work queue. So now the next task is the data which we up, uh, updated into the queue, we are going to process. So in this tutorial, we only understood uh, how we can add item to the queue in next video, we are going to understand about rest of the action which present under this queue. So there we are going to use the Salesforce to process the same data and there we will try to understand how this uh, queue actually works Okay, in case of any failure or how we are going to manage the data. So I hope this uh, tutorial video is helpful and able to understand how to create the queue in Power Automate Desktop and how to add item into the queue this is very simple and straightforward only although this is a very important and nice feature provided by the microsoft power automate although if you have worked with the ui path so there is already uh, this queue concept or the queue management is available so now it is available in power automate as well so we can use this queue to um, like you know take advantage of queue management so hope uh, this video is helpful and once again thank you for watching this video and thank you for your support for subscribing this channel and and liking the video thank you